Now we'll take a look at the concept of learning styles. I'm sure that many of us are quite familiar with this notion of learning styles. We have formally or informally um, experienced that there are certain learners and they have certain styles. Now learning style is one of the most widely used terms in relation to student learning. However, the notion of learning styles is problematic. And why it is so? Because there are several categorizations of styles. As we talked about types of learning in the same fashion or as the principles of learning that there is no exhaustive list, there is no you know, final list of these things in the same manner, learning styles cannot be given in the exhaustive manner. Therefore, what we will do is that we will take the most dominant categorizations of learning styles and discuss a few of them. This includes uh, the style which was introduced by PASC in 1976, then the style inventory which was introduced by Honey and Mumford in 1982, then one of the most um, dominant and influential uh, inventory of styles which was introduced by Kolb in 1984 and the last but which has actually dominated the educational scenario for almost two de decades is the style inventory which was proposed by Fleming and Mills. Today, these styles have become in a way common sense. Let us try and see what these styles have to share with us. To begin with, we have PASC's categorization of styles in which he categorizes learner styles and learners in two types that is serialist and holist. According to PASC, serialist is that kind of learner who learns things step by step. Whereas holist is a learner who does not follow step by step way of learning things. Holist is the one who would in fact skip the steps, skip, the, skip particular ways of learning in an order and find learning in a more holistic sense. After PASC's style inventory, we have Honey and Mumford's. They have this four-fold classification of styles, namely activist, pragmatist, reflector, and theorist. The category of activists respond most positively to learning situations offering challenge to include uh, new experiences and problems, excitement and freedom in their learning. I am sure you must have seen activist mode uh, learners in your classes. Then there is a reflectors um, style. Re reflectors respond most positively to structured learning activities where they are provided with time to observe, reflect and think and allowed to work in a detailed manner. Then there are theorists who respond well to logical, rational structure and clear aims where they are given time for methodical exploration and opportunities to question and stretch their intellect. Finally, we have pragmatists who respond most positively to practically based, immediately relevant learning activities which allow scope for practice and using theory. Now looking at all these four styles, you might also wonder that learners cannot be divided exclusively on these styles. Sometimes some, ref some learners reflect activist style, sometimes they reflect reflector style, sometimes they might reflect pragmatic style. But then an understanding of this way of learning can definitely be of great help to us as educators. Then we have Kolb's style inventory. Now Kolb published his learning styles model in 1984 for which he developed his learning style inventory. According to Kolb, learning involves the acquisition of abstract concepts that can be applied flexibly in a range of situations. Kolb's experiential learning style theory 
typically represented by four stage learning cycle in which the learner touches all the bases. Effective learning is seen when a person progresses through a cycle of four stages. So one, having concrete experience followed by the observation and reflection on that experience which leads to the third stage that is formation of abstract concepts and generalization which are then used to test hypothesis in future situations. This brief description of Cope's learning styles can be presented in other words. Like there are learners who can be placed in four categories namely diverging learners, assimilating learners, converging learners and accommodating learners. Diverging learners are those who actually in, have their feelings and their ability to watch things included. They tend to gather the information and use imagination to solve problems. They are best at viewing concrete situation from several different viewpoints. Then there is this assimilating category where the learners are more interested in watching things and thinking about things. The next category of learners that is that of converging they believe in doing things and thinking about it and finally we have accommodating learners who enjoy doing things as well as feeling things. Now this categorization gives us a better understanding of our learners and their styles. Cole's learning stages and cycle could be used by educators to critically evaluate the learning position, provision typically available to students and to develop more appropriate learning opportunities. Educators should ensure that activities are designed and carried out in way that offer each learner the chance to engage in the manner that suits them best.